Good morning everyone. Welcome to my channel. This is Marilyn with Sweetwater's Cards. I'm sorry I haven't been on for the last two days. I've spent most of my time up at the hospital. My brother-in-law is in critical condition and um, he's stable right now but his heart and his liver both are failing and he is on a ventilator um, and um, and then while I was there my sister who's married to him was having grand mal seizures and so yeah family has always got to come first and um, but I'm coming on today because I have some happy mail and I'm going to do it in two videos um, the first that I uh, received, I received a sweet little Valentine card from Miss Glenda Year uh, Arwood, excuse me, Glenda. And I love this little vintage image with the little children on it. I just love stuff like this. And she's blinged up some of the hearts, and it looks like she's like glittered up the edges or put a ink pen around it, a, a shiny ink pen. And it's just a little sweet, happy Valentine's Day. And um, Glenda, thank you so much for this. You know, this is the only Valentine's card I got, <laughs> which is fine, because um, it's not Valentine's Day is not that big of a deal to me. Um, well, I did get one from my husband. I take that back. I did get one from my husband. Um, but this is really precious, and thank you so much for that. Um, I really do appreciate that. So, yeah, I'm going to keep this, keep all my cards. The second thing that I received was from uh, Anna Stratus at um, Oh, why can I never remember the name of her channel? Hand to Heart Creations or something like that. I'm sorry, Anna. <laughs> I, I'm sorry I can't remember it. I don't know what's wrong with my brain. Anyways, I'm covering up the side that... Um, uh, has your address on it. Okay, okay, I know what this is. Alright, look at this. Oh my gosh. This is so adorable. Look at this. Look how sweet this little tag is. I've never seen anything like that before. <laughs> so, she, when she did her video, you know, several of us did those videos about um, what we're not going to buy anymore, at least until it's all gone, that the things that we have just so much of, and hers was tool and straws, and I don't remember all of them, but the things that she had excess of, I had almost nothing of, and um, I asked her if she'd be wanting to do a trade, like I could send her some of my excess things, but she said, no, 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 she said, I'll just... Um, I'll be more than glad just to share some with you. So this is what she sent me, and I'm super thrilled. Thank you so much, Anna. And oh my goodness, these straws are beautiful, and these images are just stunning. I love them. So she sent to me. Let's see if I can open this up. Oh, there it is. So she sent me some red tool, which I have none of. Thank you so much, Anna. I'm thrilled. And she sent me some pretty pink, and I have none of that shade. Thank you, Anna. And she sent me some of the white. I have no white either. Thank you. And then she sent me a variety of straws. Look at these. Aren't these lovely? Now, they're probably not a big deal to most of you, but to me, they're a big deal. Um, I don't have any straws like this. I do have one package of Christmas straws that are red and something else. Red and white, I think. Um, but I that's it. <laughs> so, thank you so much, Anna. Oh, I'm so thrilled to own these. I'm super, super blessed. And like I say, Anna, I'm more than willing to send you anything of excess, even if there's something that you need. 
just name it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Anna. I really appreciate that. Well, I guess I have time to open up this one here, too. So I'm going to open this one up. And this one comes from Miss Alicia Wagman. And this is... I love this tape. It's duct tape. Cool. That is so cool. This is what she made to support my challenge. Um, and she knew that she was getting it out late. And I did, too. But, oh my goodness, she cram-packed this thing. Oh, oh I'm getting out. Oh, at least, what have you done? This, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay, let me just make sure there's nothing in there. So, oh, she's, oh my goodness. Oh, I, whoa. Whoa, 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 girly. Okay, I don't even know where to begin. Where did you find bags this big? Please tell me, Alicia. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is gorgeous. And I'm saving this bag. Oh wow. Oh wow. I don't even know where to begin. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Alicia, what have you done? Oh, th this is just incredible. Oh, I don't... Oh my goodness. I can't get the bag open. What, are, what am I doing wrong? Am I going to take it off from up here? I, I want to save this bag topper. <laughs> Me, folks, I'm trying not to destroy the bag topper. And I seriously may be destroying the bag. I hope not. Okay, first of all, I am so thrilled to get these. I saw her making these butterflies, and I just loved what she did. Look at this. She's inked around the edges. She's glittered them up to high heaven, which I love. She's put pink little bodies inside. and I've never seen bling like that before. That's gorgeous. She's glittered them up. She's layered them up. Oh, Elisha, these are just stunning. I love these. And they're so much prettier even in real life. And they were so pretty when I saw you making them. Oh, I love it. And she's used some kind of romantic, shabby, chic paper here. This might be from the... The, um... Tales of You and Me from Prima. I'm not sure. It looks vaguely familiar. These are gorgeous, Alicia. Thank you so much. I love all the detail on them. Oh... Those are just stunning. Wow. Okay. Then, she's made this gorgeous tulle flower. She's layered up a couple of bows and glittered them up. Put a gorgeous bling in it. And she's made me some of these kind of rosettes that are fairly hard for me to make. Oh my gosh. These are gorgeous, Alicia, and I love the color. I love the um, this like Tiffany blue with the silver. That is stunning. And she left them blank so that I, if I want to decorate them up further, I can. Thank you so much, Alicia. I love these, and they're they're like stiff. She's put some kind of stiffener or something on them, or maybe it's just the sparkle sparkle stuff that she's put on it. Those are just stunning. And oh my gosh, I just realized there's like little polka dots on the on the rosette, the little uh, scallop circle. From one angle, it doesn't look like it, but then when you turn it, it really does. Those are stunning, Alicia. Thank you so much. Yay! And this tulle rose flower, this is gorgeous. 
Wait, is that tool or is that a dryer sheet? It looks like it's a dryer sheet and tool. That That is so cool. I wonder if I could make one of those. Look at this beautiful lace across this. Oh my goodness, I just love this paper. Oh, Elisha, gosh. <gasps> she made me some of the, the flowers, the hairball flowers. Oh, look, look, love never fails. And then she put this gorgeous pink trim. Oh my goodness, Alicia. This is absolutely stunning. Look at these. Okay, I... Now see, I just found out that she got that Jelly Bean, the one that initially did the, the tutorial, bought these at Dollar General. We don't have a Dollar General in this part of the country where I live. We have Dollar Tree. And... Um, I'm going to have to see if they have any decent ones that I could try to do. Oh my goodness, these are just stunning and I love the colors. Thank you, Alicia. Oh my goodness. Oh, these are just gorgeous. You did a really good job on these. Wow. I love them, Alicia. Oh my goodness, this is just... This is way too much. This is just unreal. Oh, whoa. Okay. Now this is really pretty paper, and I don't want to rip it. Why? This is like Christmas, I'm telling you. So my son is in here from Tacoma. He came up because of his uncle being in the hospital and he's in there hooking up my TV with a bunch of different Amazon Prime and different ones. We don't have cable. We don't take this cable. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at this tag. Oh, it's an envelope. It's an envelope? Look at this. This is so cool. Okay, she's taken one of these kind of envelopes. I, is this a policy envelope? I don't know what they're called. I'm so new to this kind of stuff. But she's distressed the edges really good. I mean, it looks like it's really old. And then she's she's layered one type of paper underneath that's got the turquoise and the pink and some kind of design. And then she's taken another piece of paper that's got, that she must have die cut out of all these flowers. And she's layered it over the top. She's put this gorgeous pink trim, this pink lace. She's put this vintage couple. It says a special kind of love. She's put this gorgeous shabby pink heart glittered up. And it's got the polka dots too. And then another piece of this gorgeous vintage shabby chic paper. She's distressed the edges. She's layered up a pink heart bling. Oh, that is so beautiful. And then she's made this gorgeous dangly little charm. Little dangle with the pink hearts. So... Is that two? This might be two hearts layered up on top of each other. It might be one of these on there. I'm not sure. That is gorgeous, Alicia. I love this. Oh, this is beautiful. You guys, her work is just stunning. I'm telling you. You know, she always talks about being a slow maker. Well, is it any wonder she puts so much love and effort into it? I love this, Alicia. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. And I just, I know exactly what I'm going to do with this. I've got something of my husband and I's that I'm going to keep in here. Thank you, Alicia. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. There's so much. <gasps> she made me some of her shabby chic flowers. Woo! No, oh, I don't want to take the... Just find where the there it is. 
I don't know what kind of tape you use, Alicia, but it is strong. <laughs> but I want to keep these bag toppers because I can reuse them. They're too pretty to throw away. Way too pretty. Let's throw that away. Now we'll get over here and look at these. Oh, I love these. These are pretty. <laughs> Look at this, guys. Okay, first she's chosen this gorgeous paper for the background, right? She's made this gorgeous bag topper. She's put one of her flowers on top of it with lace. She uh, is that wink a step. What is that stuff that you're making everything glittered with? I need some of this badly. And I love this thing is so pretty. This flower. <gasps> Did you make this, Alicia? You had to have made it. Oh, I love that. Okay, so let's look at these again. I get distracted easy. So, she's die cut out or punched out, I don't know which, the flower petals. It looks like she's crumbled them up to make them shabby looking. She's layered them up. They're stiff, so she's put some kind of stiffener on them. She's wink a cell of them or glittered them up like she does. Maybe this is what Susan Tootsie Tuck Tucker talks about when she talks about um, uh, Wagastella or something like that. She's put these gorgeous blings in the centers, and I love the colors. And I love the fact that they're kind of variegated. Like, we have a, a deep rose, and then we have more of a peachy rose to a lighter color. I love these. Oh, my goodness. And I love this color. You know, I love my mint green. This is kind of a cross between a mint green and a Tiffany blue, I think. I love these, Leisha. Oh, my goodness. I can't wait to use them. And I will use them. <laughs> I will use them. Flowers are so expensive to buy. And I do, on occasion, will, you know, if I have extra money, I will buy them on sale. But, um, I love these. I absolutely love these. And the thing I like about them is they look imperfect, but flowers are imperfect. You will never see a perfect flower. I mean, perfect in the sense of Perfect beauty, yes, but every flower is different. There's always going to be flaws. There's always going to be, you know, they're not just perfect. And I love the fact that these are like that. I mean, they look realistic. These look almost like gardenias to me. They're gorgeous. Thank you so much, Alicia. Oh, gosh, I've got a whole other bag to get into. i got to hurry this up. I don't want to hurry up. <laughs> What kind of bag is this? I've never seen one like this before. <gasps> I like this bag. Oh my goodness. Okay, oh, I see. There's tape on it. Doesn't want to go across the tape. Okay. Oops, I got more tape. There's more tape. <laughs> this is a cool bag, Alicia. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Look at all this yummy shred. <laughs> oh, gorgeous, Elish. Oh boy, what is this? This is heavy. Oh my goodness. And then we've got a can of something. Oh, a sequence mix. And this might be a memory mix. Look at all the yumminess in there, guys. All these cool little balls. And all the shred. This is pretty shred. Oh, I love this. Thank you, Elisha. And I love that bag. All right. So maybe I should have started. I'm going to save the shred. Throw away the tape. We love the shred. Okay. Oh, my goodness. <gasps> Oh my goodness, look at this. Isn't this stunning? So, this is one of those pocket memory decks like I have. Oh, she makes it look so much different and so much prettier. She's put this gorgeous paper with this beautiful heart lace. This is a Hobby Lobby lace. I know this lace. <laughs> Applique, trim, whatever you want to call it. 
She's put this bead trim across, isn't that pretty? And this gorgeous swan. Where did you get this swan? I want to get a die of a swan really bad. And I like this one. This is cute. So tell me where you got this, Alicia. She's put a little tool bowl with a pearl on top. She's die cut out. Wait a minute, is this the back or the front? No, this is the front. Okay, so that's her information. She's put this gorgeous heart with this little layered piece here, and it says thankful. She's wink a stell of the swan up, glittered it up, glittered around the heart. On the back, she's put this pearl trim all the way around. She's put this chipboard gray. So I know this is a prima chipboard. And this purple, I don't know if that's two hearts or one, but it's sure pretty. This purple bling heart. Oh, I love this, Alicia. And then she's got her information in this cute little pocket thing. Ooh, she's got more on the back. Good grief. Okay. So, uh, favorite color is Tiffany Blue. Uh, her color is soft pink, mint green. Favorite paper, Mente, Prima, Maggie Holmes, Stamperia, and Graphic 45. Boy, do we have a lot in common. Crafty Wants, Rosettes, and Pom Poms in Easter Colors. Oh, that's good to know. Crafty Loves, Books, and ATCs. I love this die, and I thank you so much for that information, Alicia. That's going to come in quite handy. Yes, it is. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And now I'm going to put your gorgeous card in its respected place of honor. But I'll have to scoot this up just a bit because I want it to sit. Oh, Alicia, I am just overwhelmed by everything you sent, my friend. Everything is so beautiful. I just, it, it feels like Christmas. And then she's given me the, oh, look at this. Oh, she's made this gorgeous sequin mix. Thank you for taping it shut, Alicia. That was a smart thing to do. So there's pinks, there's butterflies. Ooh, there's little stars. Is that a swan? It looks like a swan almost. Oh, it's a unicorn. Oh, so sweet. Thank you, Alicia. And I've got a place just for that. And then, oh my gosh. Oh, huh? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, this is gorgeous. Okay, she's tied it with this gorgeous lace. Oh, this loaded envelope. <gasps> so she's wrote, For Marilyn, in celebration of her anniversary and success, Alicia 2020. She's put this gorgeous applique across here. This gorgeous paper. Oh, my goodness. She's put the bling across. She's put bling there. A pearl, giant pearl. A bling on my M. That's so sweet. Bling across the top. More bling across there. Oh, this gorgeous flower. Another one for gorgeous flowers. I love this. On the back, it says, Believe in your heart. You're meant to live a life of purpose, miracles, and magic. I know where that came from. Oh, yes, Prima. Beautiful, beautiful Prima Dulce. She's put this gorgeous peacock paper behind it. This beautiful bow. Another one of her gorgeous rosettes with another one of her gorgeous flowers. Guys, she has just outdone herself. Elisha, this package is as pretty as probably what's in it. <laughs> I'm so thrilled. <laughs> oh, I feel like crying. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <gasps> what? Oh, 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 oh my goodness. 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 Alicia, what have you done? Oh, I didn't ask for all this. <gasps> oh my goodness. Okay, so the gorgeous part on the, the gorgeous part on the back of that memory decks card. This is the die. Thank you, Alicia. I don't have this die, and I love that. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much. And then look at this. It's a little mason jar with the little cookies and the top and the bow. 
I've never seen this before on Ellie. I love this. Thank you. You know I'll put this to good use. <laughs> oh. And then there's another die in here. Let's get through the dies and then get to the gorgeous stuff she's made. Oh my goodness. I wanted this die and everybody was hauling it at Tuesday morning and I could never find it. Thank you, Alicia. I love this. I can't believe I actually own it. Wow. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. There's too much loveliness here. <gasps> Look at these. I don't know if she made these. Did you make? I don't know if she made these or she bought these. Top grade. Look at these flowers. They're made out of tulle. And they've got these pearl centers. Aren't those just stunning? And I love the colors. <gasps> oh, well, she may have bought those. I don't know. Either way, they're very, very lovely. Thank you so much, Alicia. It says, live well, laugh often, love much. And she's put this gorgeous tool bow with this bling in the center. Oh, I just feel so spoiled. <gasps> Ooh! Ooh -hoo 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 -hoo. I know, I'm a kid in a candy shop. Yes, I am. I'm a kid in a candy shop. Is that tape? It must be tape. <gasps> what is this? First off, she's made another one of her gorgeous rosettes, which I will use, with another one of her gorgeous vintage-looking flowers. I love these. Oh, my goodness. And I, I need to know what you use to, like, stiffen it up. I love this, and I want to know what this glitter spray stuff is. I just love it. And then, oh my goodness, I think I know what these are. They are. Oh, wow. These, my friend, are cut-aparts from different paper collections, and these are from Minte, I think. Look at these. Oh, Look how beautiful these are. Oh my goodness. Oh, these are lovely. Oh, they're just stunning. Oh, I love these. I love these. I love these. Oh, I just love the back with the, the words and stuff. Oh, these are amazing. I, I'm pretty sure this is Mente, which is one of my favorite paper companies. Like Alicia. Prima, Mente, Graphic 45. <laughs> uh, I like I like Authentique. I love Authentique. I love... Well, this might be Authentique, too. I don't know. I think it's more... I think it's more um, Mente. Just stunning. Hot air balloon. Oh, wow. I just love this. These are so pretty. I love the pink and the green. Oh, look. Aren't these just beautiful? On oh, the birdcage. Look at that. Isn't that so sweet? Oh, love, love, love these. And this one. Sorry if you're not seeing me. <laughs> I'm so enthralled with what she sent me. Ah, <laughs> oh, just love these. Another one with the birdhouse. Oh, thank you, Alicia. You know I'll get good use out of these for sure. sent me so much stuff I never ever, ever imagined having this much stuff. Oh, she made me one of her little 3x3 three three, uh, pocket fold <clears throat> where you put ephemera in. Oh, and she's aged everything up. I love this. So she's put this gorgeous little doily. Where did you find a doily that small? 
And then there's a wooden one. Look how lovely that is. And then she's put a little flower in the middle. Of course, she's inked everything up and, you know, made it vintage looking. And then there's a little pocket right here. And she's got little pieces of ephemera. Oh, I love these. I love these vintage ephemera. And I don't have a whole lot of vintage ephemera. So this is awesome. And then the middle section, she's inked it up again. Look, this beautiful floral. She's put this chipboard piece that says beautiful. She's inked up the edges in black and brown. She's put some ephemera here, telegram, little notepad, another little notepad. These are adorable. And then on the top, there's also a pocket. No, it's in the back. Never mind. We'll get to that in a minute. And then over here, she's got the little uh, piece here with the flowers. And it says manufacturing company. The little girl, the vintage girl, it says inspired. She's put some kind of like gold netting underneath it. Oh, it's just gorgeous. She's inked the edges up again. Oh, Elisha, I just love this. And then if you turn it over on the back side, we have another pocket that's going this direction. And she's put more beautiful vintage ephemera pieces. And one is trying to be stuck. There's like a little stamp. There's the typewriter. Another one, the sun. And then Bennett portable typewriter. I love these, Alicia. Thank you. Oh my goodness, I'm going to have fun with these. Then she's put a little note card down below and turned it into a pocket. Wait a minute, I am, now I am confused. Okay, another little typewriter, a little hand pointing up, <laughs> a little notepad, some little miniature stamps. Oh, I just, the guy on the big bicycle. I love these. Oh my goodness. These are so much fun. Nah. I don't know what I'm thinking. I made some of these. And then there's a section in the middle. Yes, indeed. And this has... Did I get them all? It's hard telling. Nope, I didn't. Nope, that wasn't that one. So then we've got some little vintage people. A couple of brothers, maybe a professor, <laughs> and a penmanship card. Ah, thank you, Elisha. I love this. Oh, my goodness. And, uh, yeah, I learned how to make these from her. And I think she learned how to make these from, well, if I can remember her name. I'm just going to put it in the back for right now. Uh, Septeria, 18. I love this. Thank you, Elisha. I love this so much. And then, oh my goodness, what is this? <gasps> Ooh, ephemera! Oh, look. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, these are the ones from Hobby Lobby. First off, we've got another gorgeous topper with more pink lace, another one of those gorgeous little swans with the crowns. Yeah, there you go. It's a love thing. And it's got all these ephemera pieces. And let's see if I'm able to, oh, I do not want to hurt this. Oh, it's glued on there tight. <laughs> I don't know what you use, but it's permanent. Well, maybe. Maybe not. Oh, I so don't want to wreck this. Well, I don't know whether this one is going to be salvageable. Doesn't look like it. Darn it. So. Anyways, just want to show you what is in this. And this is like a all-holiday ephemera. So we have the Easter Bunny. We have Valentine's Day. We have the Leprechaun hat. 
uh, <clears throat> more Valentine's, another Easter one, more uh, St. Patrick's Day, 4th of July, Love You Latte, <laughs> summer glasses with the red, white, and blue. All this is like 4th of July. More Easter, more St. Patty's Day. And I thank you for this because I don't have any St. Patrick's Day, which is shameful because I'm very much Irish. Uh, with some Native American. And actually Irish, Scottish, and English. And some Native American. And I don't have a lot of 4th of July. I don't have any Easter ephemera. So this is beautiful. Thank you so much, Alicia. Oh, I feel so overwhelmed. And <laughs> this is just an amazing, amazing thing that you've sent me. And I just feel really touched and loved. You guys, if you don't know Alicia, you need to know Alicia. She's just a wonderful person. She's an amazing crafter. She's a, one of the biggest supporters I've ever seen to anybody on YouTube. Um, she's just amazing. She's an amazing woman. And she deals with a lot of things. A lot of things. Um, that she doesn't always talk about. But she's an amazing person. And... I just am so blessed by this, and Anna, I'm so blessed by your little package. I'm so happy I've got more straws and some tool that I don't have. And thank you, Glenda, for the beautiful Valentine's Day card. You guys are amazing people. You know that? I just love each and every one of you. All right. God bless.